Hello everyone, thank you for joining me. Today I want to share with you the first step I took to learning vibrato, which include five preliminary vibrato drills. These pre-vibrato drills help with uh, getting familiar with what is involved in producing vibrato. It's especially good for novices and beginners that are not quite ready to do vibrato yet, but hope to do so one day. Um, some of these exercises I still do to this very day, even though I'm in the more advanced process of unlocking my vibrato. The best part of these drills is that you don't need anything to do them with, not even a violin. Before getting into these drills, let me remind you that you can always subscribe to my channel to keep up with future videos like this one that are all focused in self-teaching violin through my own self-teaching journey. So please um, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and if you have any questions, leave a comment in the comment box below. That will really help my channel grow. So let's get started. For all of these exercises or drills, um, remember these redundant yet very important points. Number one, you should never experience any pain. Number two, do these drills with a time limit to avoid overworking your muscles, tendons, and joints. I recommend 10 to 12 minutes, no more than that. And number three, do not overwork your muscles, tendons, and joints. You will risk injury if you do. Believe me when I tell you, limit yourself when it comes to these violin drills um, or any um, drill that's repetitive. Uh, I know by experience that it's not worth getting injured. Um, it actually sets you back a lot in your violin journey. And the goal here is to take steps forward in a consistent manner. All right, so the first drill in these five preliminary drills is fingertip rolls. The goal for this exercise is to get your fingers top knuckle used to being loose and flexible. You can do this by bending and straightening your knuckle on any surface. It can be your thumb, it can be your arm, it can be a book, like a book like this. Um, it can even be your steering wheel when you're stuck in traffic. The key here is to make sure you do your fingertip rolls as smooth as possible and without any tension. So this means don't press hard on the surface that you choose and don't over don't overextend when you straighten and and don't pop like don't do a like a sudden pop when you bend your finger back up it's supposed to be just smooth and controlled movements so let's do this together um, go ahead and grab a flat surface or you can just do it on on your thumb or on your arm whatever you prefer and we're gonna um, go ahead and place our first finger first and um, you place it as if you're hitting a note on the violin let's picture that okay and then um, make sure you have your your um, flat top between your top knuckle and your middle knuckle and go ahead and straighten and bend uh, let's do four repetitions per finger so first finger place it down we're gonna go back one two three Four. Second finger. One, two, three, four. Third finger. One, two, three, four. Fourth finger. One, two, three, four. All right, so those are fingertip rolls. Now, here I'm holding it this high for the purpose of demonstration, but you can do it comfortably anywhere just you know but don't go that fast go go smooth and in control um, you can also do it on the tabletop I don't know if I mentioned that but anyways 
That's fingertip rolls. Let's go to drill number two, fingertip flicks. This exercise is more of a checkup for your top finger joints. The goal here is to release any tension and basically check if your fingers are gummy enough for, vibra for, for vibrato. You do this by bending your finger at the middle joint, this one right here. And go ahead and create a 90 degree angle. With your right fingertips, you're going to flick your left fingertip upward and downward and your left fingertip should effortlessly flop up and down. So let me show you. Like that. See? So that means that your knuckle is loose enough to create that vibrato sound. It's gonna not be tense. So let's do this together. So go ahead and, oh, most of these drills you want to make sure you do them on both hands. So go ahead and start with your first finger. We're going to do repetitions of three upward, three downward. Okay. So here we go. Uh, 90 degree angle, flip upward, one, two, three, flip downward, one, two, three. Second finger, one, two, three, downward, one, two, three. Third finger, upward, one, two, three, downward, one, two, three and your fourth finger one two three down one two three left hand one two three up one two three second finger one two three down one two three third finger one two three one two three and then fourth finger one two three one two three and that's it those are fingertip flips I need to repeat and emphasize that you should not feel any pain whatsoever when you do these vibrato drills. If you do, stop right away and see how you can adjust so that you can do these um, drills comfortably. And if for any reason you're still feeling pain, consult a medical professional. It's very important that you don't hurt yourself while you're doing this, these drills. Um, and just keep in mind there's always substitutions that can give you the same result like this next drill drill number three wrist taps this next exercise is a little specific to wrist vibrato or, or is it wrist vibrato? yes wrist vibrato and then there's arm vibrato okay where you do this but uh, this drill I think is still good for those who prefer arm vibrato. Just try it and see if it helps you. So what you do is you bring your forearms together at, from the elbow up and um, you will touch your fingertips together so that you can actually tap. And you're going to uh, basically um, rock your wrist or your hands back and forth at the wrist like so in a um, in a steady play, pace so um, it might help to use a metronome for this exercise but the idea is start with quarter beats then work your way up to eighth beats and then you will end in 16 beats for now let's do this together we're uh, I'm gonna skip the metronome for now but um, I will use my inner metronome and count for you I'm gonna start on the count of uh, I'm going to start with a count of four and we'll start on one and let's for each speed let's do a count of eight okay so bring your forearms together at the wrist fingertips together and I'll start with the four count one two three four one two three four five six seven eight one and two and three and four and five and six and seven and eight and one and two and three and four and five and six and seven and eight and and that's the exercise drill number four air violin the goal here is to exercise your brain to do different motions on each hand at the same time 
which is what you do with vibrato. Uh, you will start by positioning your right and left hand in a violin pose, like so. You will start out by extending both your right and left hands outward from the elbow, like so. Okay? Then you will extend both arms out one after another, like so. Be sure you rela be sure when you do these exercises, relax those shoulders so that you can get used to just doing them in a relaxed manner. Okay. Now here's where it gets complex. Uh, with your left hand, you're going to do a vibrato motion. Now you can start slow at first, but when you get used to it, you can speed it up as if you're doing vibrato. Okay? You can do from the from the wrist or you can do arm. It's up to you. Whatever comes easy. And then with your left hand, you will do slower legato like bowing motions. So, let's do the vibrato here and then a legato bow. And that's how you do it. We're not done yet. The last uh, part of this exercise, you're going to do the opposite. With your bowing hand, you're going to do a tremolo-like motion. So back and forth in a faster motion. And then with your right hand, you're just going to go up and down the fingerboard in a slow pace. So let's start with that tremolo and then extend your... I can't talk while doing this but you get the point. All right, so that's the exercise. And then you're going to repeat those, those parts as if you're a left-handed violinist, okay? So let's do this together. Let's do three repetitions per part of this exercise. So, and let's start with the, with the uh, right hand, right-handed violin position. So relax those shoulders, violin position, and we're going to go outward three times. One, two, three, one after another three times. One, two, three, vibrato. One, two, three, tremolo. One, two, three. Now, let's do it with the left-handed position this way. This is a little more difficult. If you're having trouble, just slow down. Just do it slowly. And as you do this every day, your brain will get used to it and you'll, you're going to be able to do these motions effortlessly. So, left-hand violin position. Outward uh, three times. One, two, three back and forth. One, two, three. Vibrato. One, two, three. Tremolo. One, two, three. Yeah, this one's hard. Okay. So that's the exercise. And do this and you'll get used to it. I guarantee it. All right. Next exercise, exercise number five, drill number five, the last one. Drill number five, egg shaker drills. For this exercise, it helps to have a cute little egg shaker, but you don't need one. You can use anything that fits in the palm of your hand and that rattles. It can be a small little jar or container with, be with dry beans in it or rice. Um, I've seen people even use a tic-tac container with tic-tacs in it because it's enough to rattle. So what you do is you hold your egg shaker or whatever you choose that rattles in your right hand. Uh, it's a good idea to do this exercise on both hands, but for now we'll just do it on the right hand because it's the vibrato hand. So um, hold your egg shaker in the palm of your hand and you're going to Depending on what type of vibrato is easier for you, um, you can do the movement from your wrist for wrist vibrato, like so. 
if you prefer doing arm vibrato, you will um, move from your elbow up, like so. Okay? So that's the exercise. Now, for this exercise, it really helps to have a metronome. Um, I have one right here so that we can just practice how this exercise is supposed to go. Just like with the wrist taps, it's good to start at a certain beat per minute and do the quarter notes, then you speed it up to eighth notes, and then you end in um, 16th notes. All right, so let's try it and let's make it easy. Let's start at 68 beats per minute. Okay, let's try it. Can you hear that? All right. Okay, so we're starting at 68 beats per minute. Let's try eight counts for each speed again. All right. So here it goes. Five, six, seven, eight, one and two and three and four and five and six and seven and eight and one and two and three and four and five and six and seven and eight and that's how simple it is. Now of course you want to get used to this motion, whatever it is, wrist, arm, I don't know. I can't do arm very well, but I'm doing wrist for now. And um, go ahead and start off slow. And don't do this exercise too long. Again, with the drills, you don't want to overdo it. Prevent those injuries. Okay, so that's a shaker drill. Well, there you have it. Those were the five preliminary vibrato drills for violin. I did these drills to help prepare myself for vibrato. And I think if you're a novice and or a beginner, um, it's a good idea to start uh, doing these drills to prepare yourself for vibrato. And one of the ways you can do that is by implementing these drills into your warm-up routine. So every time you're going to warm up before your actual violin practice, just do a few of these drills so that you you can get used to what is involved in producing a vibrato. I hope these tips will help you in your violin journey and getting closer to unlocking your vibrato. If you already know vibrato or are closer to um, making it happen and you have some additional helpful tips for us, for us who don't do it quite well yet, um, please share them in the comment box below. I would really appreciate it. Also, make sure you check back soon because I will be releasing another vibrato video which is part two of how to develop a vibrato. This video is actually part one. So please make sure you subscribe, you hit that like button and you will be the first to, one of the first to know when the next video is out. So, um, and also I'd really appreciate it. So I hope to see you next time. Thank you for watching. Bye.